Hello everybody, welcome to the official replay cast of the Group E Round 1 match between Piebot and his lizards up against Misspell Tree and her wood elves, who joins me in the booth. Hello. Hello. Thought it would be fun to come on and look back at everything I did wrong. <laughs> well, we, we'll see him. <laughs> it, it's sometimes not fun when you when you're confronted with your horrendous mistakes. <laughs> I can I can tell you, but <laughs> yeah, it, interesting. We've we've got a we've got the standard uh, lizard man team from Piebot here, mm-hmm. six block. He does only have eleven players, but that means he's got three re rolls. So it's kind of six and two threes. I don't think one build is particularly stronger than the other. Um, and then you've gone for a very unusual build here, right? Giving up a, a, a secondary, like giving up a primary, well, two primaries, swapping two primaries for a secondary. Oh my mm. God, I got there in the end to give guard to a catcher. Yeah, I, I, I don't know if I should have taken this build. I had, I, what I should have done is spent much more time trying things before before we started. And as soon as I did this, I then looked at uh, KFO's roster and got buyer's remorse and thought I wish I had all the dodge. But Guard on an elf team is pretty nice. Like it can definitely unlock things that you wouldn't normally get. So, I I was I was talked myself into the the guard, and and now I'm not sure if it was the right decision, but I've got it. So we'll we'll see how it goes. Mm. And a- apart from that, the roster is pretty standard, right? Most people take the tree, the leader mm. thrower, the strip dancer. Normally, we see two dodge linemen and two wrestle linemen. So that's yeah, what you, that's what you give which is what you give up. It, and it and it does matter because you do end up wanting to do a lot of dodging pretty much every game of what else. So yeah, it it is a it is a sacrifice for sure. Mm-hmm. And then a, a frenzy dancer uh-huh. <laughs> is uh, not always the best. Uh, you know, player against a competent opponent, but some people just let you serve people for free, don't they? Instantly. So. Yes. I see. I I know you don't like it, and um, I yeah, I I I think it's, I think it's good. I I think you know, tackle, to me, is only good in some matches. Frenzy makes your opponent think about the sidelines in every match. I think there's other things you could do, like the sidestep, which Kefo and um, Stride have gone for, makes a lot of sense too. But I like having a skill that does something in every matchup rather than. Um, Rather than tackle, which some matchups is just completely irrelevant. Yeah, especially with like with us not having Amazons, right? Like that's the that's the biggest mm-hmm. thing is Amazons yeah. is for tackle and sidestep's really good anyway. Like I, I I'm liking the sidestep more and more from uh, you know helping with a one turn and stopping yeah. one turns is is both really good. Getting dual usage out of that is really nice. Um, but yeah, frenzy could definitely do things right. So let's see what happens. Oh yeah, you chose to kick. We t- we talked about that on the stream, not on the I board. This, yeah. Unlucky. If you feel like you're missing out, <laughs> check out the stream. <laughs> Quick snap. No chameleon skink as well, so doesn't doesn't have the free catch attempt, which you know helps against woodies. Yeah, I, I I've actually just done like a. A couple of ladder games at this today, and I st- I can't work out if I want the comedian skink or not. Like it, it's such a weird decision with the lack of movement, but the on the ball is nice, right? Yeah, I think it's a twelfth player, and then like use it situationally, and mm. sometimes it's better, and most of the time it's worse. <laughs> yeah. Oh, a sneaky, a sneaky non-stand firm to keep the keep it keep from it falling standing. down. Yeah, I like day. it. Ooh, doesn't follow for a, a, an extra 3D. Glorious. No, I won't down, give anyway. in until I'm victorious. I'm looking the wrong screen. I'm and watching I your stream. Defend. I'm watching your screen share. <laughs> I I'm watching defend. the wrong thing. I'm watching the behind you. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much, Benny Bobs. Thanks for staying. Fantastic for 10 glorious months. Oh, yeah. Oh, I hate not... Um, I hate not Venger bussing here, right? I feel like so you this- have to Venger bus. Oh yeah, I rolled a one and route right away. But uh, this turn was like one I spent way longer than I should have done thinking about. But I, I think I'm about to not blitz because Pybot has not given me an easy blitz that's attractive, and I just don't want to like overcommit. And so I think I end up literally just not taking my blitz this turn. You can hit play and check, but I think that's what happens. <laughs> mm. Yeah, you can't um, really get around the back, right? If you 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 you, you can yeah. nearly get around the back. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. 
eight, nine, ten. Like it's it's actually a really good chance, right? Because it's just a four plus leap in into a two D strip, and then you'd also push an extra guy into the tree, and then you could get an amazing scatter. So it's an it's an actual great opportunity. Yeah, it's a few rushes right off the bat, but yeah, you're you're mm. right. You could go. You could just go for this straight away. Yeah, which is it's crazy. Like it's crazy how hard it is to defend against the dan against the woodies. But you know, you'll probably get an, an even easier chance later. <laughs> I mean, the, the only thing from the wood elf side of this, and not that it isn't amazing, because of course it is any team would like to have that four plus option just going for it like with the strip ball there is a feeling playing wood elves in this format that you might only get one go at that like if you fail that leap you might not see that water answer again because they're probably going to foul it right they should foul it mm. um but there is there is still a wariness of doing it right away on turn one right because of that you think to yourself mm, do i really want to take that risk even if it's putting the reroll and it's like one in four of just saying goodbye to my war dancer for the whole game <laughs> yes yeah i mean it could have also gone with the the frenzy to be fair right because you've had two well no it was movement 10 just for the strip but either way like e either either one hitting the ball is pretty good because their strength two you're gonna you're gonna get multiple hits at them aren't you so like this is a better shape from him right harder leap in harder to cancel assists so less tempting to go in here knocks my microphone cable out there which i do way too often um so uh sorry if i cut off mid thought oh no problem oh an uphill blitz yeah i just was I'd, he, he'd put the crocs in a good square and i was gonna have to dodge that leader on a three plus which i didn't want to do and uh i that I mean, it's a two plus two plus, right? That uphill, and it unlocks the second hit for me. Yeah, um, it's better than a dodge. Mm -hmm. And it, crucially, it gets down his mighty blow, right? Like that's the thing. It's so much better uphilling big guys in this rule set than the previous. Um, mm. Like, but I mean, this this leader. Oh no! Oh, Piebot. That was. He, he definitely, in my opinion. I guess maybe he's worried about the fre the frenzy, but I'm for sure coming in round the back, right, and pushing him into follow up hits. Mm -hmm. Trap trap that leader, get rid of the get like removing the leader is so good. I'd definitely be wanting to come round the back and uh and get follow up hits there for sure. Yeah. Yeah, that was a pretty scary one to be honest with you, because it does go down but doesn't get hurt. Mm. This this is actually honestly this Jimmy, this is part of the problem with the the guard build, right? Is that I have got nothing that I can put in front. Like I've got too many valuable pieces, and so that's how that leader ends up there in the first place. So, because mm. I'm struggling to to find the pieces to put in front for these oh, hits. So go. having said about the four plus and risking it, I just do it on turn two anyway or turn three anyway. Yeah. Um, which yeah works out. Again, okay. um, it's 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 bad. It's like it's bad from Pybot. Right, because he's got the players, and mm -hmm. he could he could have just made this harder. He could have had another player in the cage that so you know you would have had to dodge into cancel and stuff like, and he's just made it too easy to get the the two D uh, four plus leap on a two D hit is too easy. I actually like I I think he was being very like deliberate about trying to protect um trying to protect oh. skinks and um. <laughs> some fun scatters and i <laughs> i feel like the skink would be better in the front line there because it, it would have made the leap in harder than it is at the back yeah 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 like and and plus you've got this this was the perfect direction to push it out mm. i'm trying to work out what the hell happened here <laughs> <laughs> so there's a removal he caught it and then when and then I've got, i can't stay off. there right because if i stay there that's got a whole chain of blocks that's going to be so I went for the four plus dodge, um, yeah. and it failed. Wow, <laughs> that was wild. That was lots of scatters. The removal is golden, isn't it? Maybe there were some safe moves to be done first, but uh, we've gone past that stage, so we can't find out. <laughs> 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 but yeah, like that's the problem. Like yeah, when you're catching it, and like I didn't consider catching it when I did my ball sack in my game. Um, mm. I didn't consider the the chance of ca catching it, so. I would have done some things first if I'd thought about it. But yeah, well, the problem is you, you kind of don't want to commit too many of your moves first because if it comes out, you might have a chance to recover it and make a whole screen on the sideline, right? I, I was pushing it out on the left-hand side. Exactly. Um, so, yeah, it's it's a tricky thing between safe moves and 
what could be most advantageous if the sack works. Yeah. yeah I get very lucky here. Yeah. Oh. yeah. <laughs> very nice. lucky. So two skinks gone, out of an eleven player roster on turn four. Yeah, yeah, that's a that's <laughs> pretty good. And and again, just an instant leap in if you want it. Continuously mm. it's gotta to, gotta to defend better here, Pivot against Woodells. Like it's just the X cage is not the way versus war dancers, especially with a strength two carrier. So this is now three plus leap in. So. Yeah. <laughs> that that play, I mean, I don't know if it's worth going looking at properly. Like there were options to try and and hit the second Saurus, like because this is a chain push that I set up here, and so this this um this Saurus on the right gets pushed out. And I could hit it, but I think it just doesn't then actually give me an angle in anyway. So that for the sake of a three plus leap, it's just easier to just go over. Yeah, yeah. If the tree was able to move, yeah, it's probably worth it. But without that, yeah. There was a uh, there was nothing stopping the frenzy here, was there? This would this was a two into a two uphill. Yeah, the reason I just wanted to keep the frenzy for the sack on the ball. Because the strip ball is, is stunned, so I was trying to keep the frenzy safe. Not safe, just unused for the for that turn. I think like this catcher should have maybe gone in, right? To gone in here to make it First a batters. two into one rather than two into an uphill. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. No, that's fair. Anyway, this now, this this worked out for me very well. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, Vengabus, Steve. Yeah, like a, a full a Vengabus with a driver is is what is what um, is what Pybot needed. Um, I should I should set up a little drawing on the screen thing, shouldn't I? But uh, yeah, like extend the cage out one, and then put a second skink in the cage, and then put a wall on the on the side that isn't extended. Mm. And then it makes the makes the leaps in harder, and it may, means that you've got a diff guy defending you as well. So it'd be a one D. Like a one D is still bad. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Like getting one D stripped is still bad, but at least it's better than just getting two D stripped off Renzi, um, mm. which is just suicidal, right? Impossible I to. I'd not heard Vengabus as driver before. I know Vengabus, <laughs> but I know I know what you mean when you say it now. I'm like, okay, yeah, you just it's that extra player on the end makes it. Nothing's going to make it impossible, but it's a lot. It's a lot less good than going in for two dice every time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it, it turned out nice that this this one hadn't affected the frenzy because then yeah, you got the screen there, and then it was fully screened and used the tree as well. It's always good to use your rooted tree later in the turn, isn't it? Yes. This is my thing with trees. Like everyone worries about them being rooted, but actually, like a lot of the time when they're rooted, they still end up being useful. Yeah, yeah. Even even when they root on turn one of a drive, they still mm. like shepherd an entire drive down the down one of the sidelines. Like they still mm. completely control the middle. That's why, funnily enough, I don't like the offset because you know mm. this made it easy to avoid the tree. Um, mm. and now we just dodge through tail tackle zones. Not a problem. No problem. Who cares? No. Just roll fours. They they work sometimes, don't they? <laughs> like, <laughs> still quite likely to all work. It's the, it's the sad state of affairs. Woodhills are very very hard to beat. Like, they're just so hard to beat if if they don't fail things. I mean, I mean you could say everything is if they don't fail things, but like hoping Woodhills fail is unfortunately all you have got a lot of the time. <laughs> um, yeah, but I mean you know this from from your game and just elves in general if, if you keep basing them up they will fail that that doesn't last forever like it it's uh it's three percent of the time isn't it so it will happen mm. it's just not always when you want it to happen <laughs> yes and, and sometimes you... it's the important one sometimes it's not yes and you can you can have lost the game before it happens is the thing as well isn't it and then and yeah in other games they just don't get anything going like uh, like the game that we just saw there uh, K-Fog versus Lepeg you know he didn't really get anything going and he had a kind of a painless drive of his own but on defence he just didn't get anything and mm -hmm. they, they have those games as well it's not like they're fully ridiculously overpowered or anything but I mean mm -hmm. war dancers are obviously <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> counting squares, counting squares, hang on, can I count? 
Luke is a little bit relying on this extra dodge, otherwise that ball's just not safe. But I did rely on those dodges, which I'm already questioning myself on. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I think, I think one square less and not relying on them. Yeah. Better. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That was a little bit risky, actually, looking out, back on it. Yeah. This is, again, this is a part of the reason why I was happy to go defense first, is that I find this matchup, I'm much happier, frankly, the bit where I haven't got the ball, I'm looking forward to getting the ball, is better than the bit when I have got the ball. <laughs> yeah. Once I've got the ball, it all goes to pieces. Yeah, yeah, I know what you mean, I know what you mean, but, uh, oh wow, he's got, he's got a hit yep. on the ball. Missed that. I just missed that hit, I completely didn't see it, and it does get the oh. sack. That makes that makes the going less even better because then this guy could have been covering the backside. Yep. And that yeah. was that was just didn't count those squares from the back. Missed yeah. it completely. Oh. Ooh, honestly, he should have he should have gone for the pickup, I think. <laughs> Do you think so? Yeah, maybe. I guess he hasn't got a reroll. Yeah. Just hoping you fail a seventy five percent pickup. Or like, you know, you could uphill as well, right? Yeah. But at least is hoping you just don't roll a seventy five is is I don't know, I mean he's got it's he's rough. more he's got more chance of picking it up, right? <laughs> it's just that the scatter could make it worse, right? It could if they fail to pick it up. It could. But... It could. But he's but it also it could still it could still stay in two tackle zones from the pick fail pickup and he could succeed the pickup. Thirty three yeah. and a third percent of the time he's made it significantly harder for you. I think I got away with this one. Um, yeah, I shouldn't have let that, hap that hit happen. Like the, 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 the first part of the drive, drive very happy with it. And once I got the ball, I think a few, few, few decisions made. But, um, but it's hard. Lizards are, lizards are good. Wood elves are really good, but having all that strength four is also good. So once it gets on you, it's, it's hard to, to deal with it other than just rolling the stupid dodges yeah yeah you just got to keep dodging because like you just can't make hits like maybe yeah. you can use the guard to make it except he had the ball so you definitely couldn't do that <laughs> yeah <laughs> so yeah it's really hard to just ever hit the hit the saurus for sure tree was but, rude so he couldn't hit anything <laughs> yeah um probably but i think pretty unlucky on ko rolls i didn't get either of them Oof. <laughs> Because because you could try one turn if you had more than one skink on the pitch, but doesn't. <laughs> no, yeah, not. <laughs> it does make the one turn significantly hard. <laughs> yeah, it does make it tougher. Yes. Yeah, he hasn't he hasn't had much luck, but again, he had to he had to come up with a better plan for with for the skinks against against dancers, and that that was you know just x caging was not the play. Reroll. Yes. Try to get rid of the last skink. Didn't manage it. <laughs> nice. Oh, mm. one comes back. But uh yeah, this is gonna be a very tough defense for him now, right? With nine players. Mm. As amazing as seven of them are. Um just like he, it's just hard to like have the field coverage, isn't it? As, as like, you know, while he's got kind of seven invincible dudes, almost. They they can't be they can't fight you all by themselves really because you can dodge. <laughs> this would still be tough for like dwarves against nine yeah. players, but for Woody's now you actually do get a movement advantage because he's lost sixteen mm. movement. <laughs> yeah, and like if, if any time Wood Elves have got more players than their opponents in the second half, it's pretty good. <laughs> mm. Mm. But we do start with the blitz. We do start with the blitz. It's a tragic, <laughs> tragic blitz, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, um, although that board is in skink range. It is, but oh, I wouldn't, I wouldn't even rush. No, you can't, you can't re-roll them. You're just gonna get straight. Well, you, you can't re-roll on blitz yeah. anyway. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. You can't re-roll them. So, you, so you just, even if you get there, you just get stripped, like. Yeah, although if it doesn't fall over and then it becomes a three plus pickup, these are things that can fail. You, I don't know. I, I, you get frenzied into a strip, in fact. <laughs> well, that's true. But I mean, we're in that situation. Pybot's in a bad situation, so I, I think going for the going for the that there is worth it because they're in a bad situation. Um, 
I don't know. I don't you know. Kind of, I you kind of, you kind of need the roles, right? It's not just a draw right now. They're losing, so they need they need something to go to swing on them uh, in their way. I feel like the better thing was three dicing the catcher and then fouling. Oh, you can't foul it, but three dicing it at least three dice the catcher, right? So you've got more chance of knocking it down. I guess. Well, hey. That this that by the way, if you want to pause there, that's one of the stupidest things I did in the entire game. <laughs> because because look at the situation now. If that tree is just holding that croxagore, that's fine. What can happen now? I can have the bloody croxagore on my ball because I did a stupid block I didn't need to do. Like that was just really dumb and creates a situation where there's a chance that I've got to do a tail where I didn't before. Yes. So that the second I did that block, I was like, What are you doing? That's so silly. Yeah. Um so yeah. Yeah, just to acknowledge was... that I did something incredibly stupid there, I did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, you know, like, incredibly stupid is a bit harsh, right? It's only wrong 11% of the time. But yeah. it's so wrong 11% of yeah. the time that, yes, it's fair to say that was incredibly stupid, yes. <laughs> yes. It's okay because I'm here so I can be critical of myself. I don't, you know, we're not, we're not talking about someone who can't defend themselves. I'm the one saying it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, yes, I, was, I would definitely say this was, yeah, that was... It was stupid, yeah. 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 Um, that was very bad. There's an argument for blitzing with a croc itself, right? Seeing as you want the tail on so much that you might yeah. as well just blitz with it. And again, right, you've got to get lucky, right? Make this a 3D. Mm -hmm. um, get so you've got mighty blow on the knockdown. And, oh, God. I get bailed out. Puts oh. the reroll in, still bailed out. Yeah. Diced. Diced. <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh yeah, push root. Yeah, push root wouldn't have been great. Well, if it roots, I wouldn't. If it, if it roots, then that would be my sanity check, and I wouldn't do it. The good thing about root is you do get to choose after the root if you want to finish the block. So even in the first half, I, that happened, and I didn't take the block. So. Mm -hmm. um, but this is. This is already not great, actually. Like, it's not disastrous, of course, because you can just dodge, but... Saved, he saved a guy getting served there. <laughs> but, but, like, this is, this is what I mean about the offense, and I think I should have done a lot of things differently, obviously, including the tree block, but right away, I'm having to roll two pluses with my ball carrier that I yes. don't want to be rolling, so... And it is kind of hard to avoid those against lizards, just because... I can't block Saurus. Yeah, I mean, you could have had like a layered cage, right? Rather than like yeah, an X cage like that. Yeah, like a layered mm -hmm. cage, keep them away from you. Um, have somebody like, like the thing is, yeah, I mean, I, I can tell you that if you make a dodge roll with your ball carry, you can just fail that and lose. So yeah, that yeah. was, uh, that. yeah, you shouldn't be, you shouldn't be making dodges with your ball carry at all. And they could, it could have been a, it could have been a tail one as well, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, but that's and that's why I was saying if if that croc score got in there, I don't actually know what my answer to it was. It was either going to have to be an uphill or a three plus dodge. I don't know what else I could have done. Mm. Maybe there would have been a chain if I'd looked for it, um, but difficult. Yeah, could have surfed here, but of course, feels like he has to uh, get on the dances. That that was actually semi deliberate. I thought if I sp split this way here, if Pybot goes for the surf on the other side, great. Because then you're just going to give me the whole right hand side of the pitch. Yeah, yeah, he's one nil um, down. He has to have complete ball focus now. Yeah, I think I, yeah, I, I don't know what I should be doing here. Like this, honestly, this whole part of this drive, I think I'm, I, I don't know what I'm doing because I think I definitely make the wrong choices here. Yeah, this is a, this this is these is quite a few critical one in thirty sixes are being made. Yeah, which is. Not what you want. No, no. Like, in such a dominant position. I mean, it is hard because they are listeners. That's fair. Like, everything's strength four and it bases you. But you just you just have to, like, try and layer the cages so that they can't just get on, in on you instantly. Um, mm -hmm. I don't want to spoil anything. Keep my mouth shut. <laughs> <laughs> uh, did, because, did yeah. Did you not see this not guy? <laughs> not even the worst of it. <laughs> Didn't see this yep. guy. Oh dear. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't count those squares. Oof. You gotta count yep. squares. Uh huh. Second time in the game. Mm -hmm. Non square counting. I honestly, like, I think this is one of my biggest problems. Like, when I feel like I'm up against it, I make 
better decisions. When I start thinking like I should be in control here, I just lose control completely. Mm, I mean, I think that's something that kind of everybody does, right? Once they, it's like it's much harder to lock it. Funny enough, it's one of the things that Kfrog does the best is like completely lock things down when he's when he's got an advantage. And yeah, mm. I think that's kind of natural that everyone takes their like foot off the gas a little bit and then ends up in ends up suddenly like with Blood Bowl, it's so easy to end up in trouble as well. Yeah. Oh, well, this is super easy now, though. Yeah, well, to be honest with you, again, it, it happens quickly on the replay. Pybot took a really long time thinking about whether to re-roll the rush to base my catcher because mm. cause this is so easy. Yeah. Uh, but the problem is Pybot's got one re-roll left, and even if you base the catcher, it's not that amazing. So it's a, no. it's a tough spot for this. It's, yeah. He, he, he had to move this, this, this Saurus, didn't he? Where, this Saurus, I don't think, moved. This Saurus didn't move. I wonder if it was going to rush as well. Uh, yeah, so he had... Oh, God, he dodged away? No, that's just a rush that fails to the animation that's gone weird, <laughs> I think. <laughs> right. Yeah. So, yeah, yeah it, it, he well, had yeah. to re-roll it. Yeah, it, it doesn't matter this last re-roll because this is just too easy. This is just an instant. Instant yeah. two dice to uh, be up and away. So, like, it doesn't matter how 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 painful it is that it's your last re-roll. You have to get, you have to, you have to do it. You just have to, you've got no choice. Yeah. If it fails, you lose. So therefore, <laughs> you have to, you're, you're, you know, yeah, you're out of, you're out of choice. Uh, making a bit, uh, you know, your ability to choose is gone. You just have to do it. Ooh, we've got a croc split is the only possible play. I wondered if that was going to happen. I uh, yeah, I, I did see that and think, wow, that's a. Um, oh, that's why if, I was, if I'd got that there, I could have tagged it with that one and um, and taken the tree hit. Oh no, I couldn't do the tree hit. Don't know what I was planning to do, but yeah, I did see this and think probably that's the only thing you can do. Yep. Still turn twelve, so like. You know he can still win if he if he casts the dan the casts the catcher here and then you know mm. does something like this. Well, he can't win, so he can get the draw out of it maybe. Mm. But he's already blitzed. So mm. I mean, it sucks. It sucks five plusing with a loner, but like that's it. When it's your only shot, like you literally lose next turn. <laughs> yeah. So it might look stupid and be ridiculously low odds. But when the alternative is you lose, it becomes the correct play, doesn't it? Mm. It was the play I was scared of, so I was pleased when it didn't happen. Mm. We, might e we might even get a stall here. No, not really. It's it's, it's pretty it's pretty tricky because you've got to do other rolls first, haven't you? So I think just skull. Yeah, that's what I did. That's why I thought four turns, two touchdowns. You should be okay. You never know in Blood Bowl, but you should be. Yeah. Yeah, you've got a full you've got a full Wood Elf team and he's got nine or ten, so <laughs> did finally get the KOs back, just when just when uh, they most were needed, right? Mm. Yes. <laughs> I think they were needed a little bit early. Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. <laughs> a little bit early. It has been a rough game for Pybot, but you know. It um, has. I think I, but, you know, but this is what I was saying before. Like I, it, it's been really rough, and I, despite that, I definitely still gave chances on my drive, which, um, from my point of view, I'm like, oh, not great, um, because yeah, there were definitely a couple of turns there where if things gone differently, even from one up and two players up, it could have ended differently. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it, it's not a it's not a joke matchup. Like you know, like the NAF stats would imply that it's basically unwinnable for lizards, but it's it's definitely not as ridiculous as that is. Um, mm. Just because just because that's like counting average players, right, and and below average mm. players, and in those situations it is heavily skewed towards the woodies. But um, yeah, once people can play, it becomes a lot closer. Having said that, <laughs> he still looks like he's not going to score this. Mm. Well, the tackle guard, I mean, he played it great. Honestly, the thing about the tackle guard 
um, build from Spartacus was. He did play it really, really well. And like, this is the build that you would say it's better in. Um, yeah, God, God would make life harder, wouldn't it? God would, definitely. Yeah, but having said that, um, he's still like, it's still, his offense was still a bit of a disaster because he didn't have block. <laughs> and having block is really, really good. No, I, I would have definitely liked the dodge away <laughs> yep. rather than the it, get yep. served <laughs> option. Well, what I was thinking to myself in my head, I can tell you exactly what I was thinking, which is wrong, but I can tell you what I was thinking was it um, doesn't really matter if it gets served because the point is I'm going to make a war here and if you don't score this turn, I've won. Um, but, but I don't effectively do that because I allow the chain push at the same time. Um, and so, the yeah. blitz, and and like yeah. that gives him that gives him the block surf by by yeah. putting him behind. In, in my head, it was like, well, it's fine that I lose the war answer as long as they can't score. It doesn't matter. But I didn't actually achieve that, so I just gave up the war dance kind of thing. Because yeah, the blitz is still there to do this. Yep. And it's actually just uh, two dodges? Yep. One dodge, two dodges, two dodges. Yes. No, I won't give in until I'm victorious. And I will defend. I will defend. <laughs> <laughs> Which fails, so I'm lucky. Yeah. It's a bit of a theme in this one, actually. <laughs> and it comes out as a dancer. <laughs> oh, dear. And then another highlight coming up in this second half. My second half was really bad. <laughs> oh, um, you forgot the ball. It's okay, we've got time for that. We were just taking this blitz first. <laughs> Don't worry, we're gonna, do, we're gonna still make a mess of that. S spoilers. Because <laughs> <laughs> uh, I've clicked pass instead of handoff oh. for some reason. Was that was that a wildly inaccurate? I just didn't accurate. I just didn't accurate. Just accurate. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's really bad as well because it's a four plus and not just a two, isn't it? Yeah. Oh god. Oh dear. Just sensational effort from me to do that. And do you know what stupid is? Like honestly, I didn't even know the tiebreakers at the time, so that's again things I could have checked. But actually, it could matter. Like th a third mm. touchdown could matter in in a tight group um, because Absolutely. it's touchdown scores first, isn't it? So. Yeah, it was um, many not my finest moments here in the second half. Yeah, yeah, but I, I understand like the, you know, the the chalice nerves, as we used to say, playoff mm. nerves, world championship nerves now. It's fair enough, like yeah. it's it's hard to be at your best uh, every single turn and stuff, right? I mean, at, at, at this point, it's more just that I've sort of gone, okay, the game's over. Like my brain isn't really like, I'm not, once, once the score failed and it was 2-0 on turn 15, in my head, the game was over, which... Because normally when you play an AFSAR game, it doesn't matter how many score. Um, it's just winning or losing. Um, but this is a group stage, it's different, isn't it? So, I mean, it still could have been 2-2 as well, right? Technically, there, there could have been crazy stuff like uh, timeouts and blitzers. Yeah. And there was, still, there was still things. But yeah, I mean, it is, it is a normal thing that people do is yeah, take their foot off the gas a bit mentally. Um, you know, tune out a bit when you've definitely won, but... Yeah, you haven't always definitely won. I mean, that is that is a hard thing that you've got to you've got to maintain your focus throughout all sixteen turns. Give one hundred and ten percent. You want to play good, and you try to play good, and hopefully you can play pretty good today. Mm. That is a bewitched. Is it bewitched? Bedazzled <laughs> reference. There you go. <laughs> Great movie. Great movie there. Um, ancient movie now. <laughs> it's crazy, isn't it? That like for for people of my age now, you know, referencing something in the nineties is like, oh my god, that's that's it blows my mind that that's like you know the seventies to people and stuff. Oh dear mm -hmm. god. Anyway, mm -hmm. um, <laughs> anyway, there you go. Well, well played, Tree. Congratulations. Thanks. I think well played only in, in parts. I thought the beginning I played well. I was really happy with my first half. I think my second half was not particularly good. And I feel a bit sorry for Piper. I think they got quite unlucky. 
yeah yeah and it, it was he was in a tough spot as well like constantly you haven't mm-hmm. having to chase wood elves that can score at any point is it's basically impossible right like it's the hardest thing the hardest thing in blood bowl is to defend against wood elves that are one nil up essentially right because they can yeah. score at any time and and it's just it's almost impossible i mean any elves it's it's pretty difficult scathing's really difficult but wood elves are like the best right <laughs> so it, when, when it comes to scoring yes they, they haven't got the durability of of dark elves or the like one turning and the bashiness of skaven but when it comes to just purely stopping them scoring i know pro elves have got nerves of steel but come on <laughs> dancers are ridiculous and stuff so yeah it really really hard for him in the second half and he, he did well he battled and uh you know hopefully he can do better in the subsequent game so yep commiserations Pybot. and um, thank you very much for joining me for this cast tree thanks for having me on Four. And thanks for watching, everyone. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And stay fantastic.